So today we are going to work on a zebra project. So here is my example. If you notice, if you watch the video that's above this one, it shows zebras that are black and white. Okay. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. Okay. Because it has lots of cool things about zebras on it. But I did my zebra as a silly zebra. If you notice, he's got beautiful rainbow stripes and eyelashes, okay? So what you need today is you need a piece of paper and you can use crayons or markers. I used crayons, but you can use either. If you like markers better, you can use your markers, all right? And then we're gonna hold our paper up tall and skinny, just like mine, okay? You don't want it this way, you want it this way, okay? The other thing before I start drawing that I want you to notice is my zebra fills up the whole paper, okay? My zebra is not this big, okay? His head was that big. You'd have all that extra room and you wouldn't be able to put all the detail on your zebra. So you want to make your zebra pretty big, okay? Now really quick, I'm going to draw what will be my piece of paper on here so you have an idea of how big to make your zebra. So I'm going to draw my square or rectangle, which is it? What's this? Is it a square or a rectangle? A rectangle, right? Because there are not four even sides. Two are longer than the other. Before we start, though, we are going to practice on the back of your piece of paper. So I've got my zebra on this side. I would flip it over and I'm going to draw on the back. And we're going to practice our shapes because our zebra is made out of a lot of shapes. So here's my paper. And I'm going to draw some ovals. Now, if we remember, our ovals are like circles that were stretched out. Okay, so I'm going to do one on here. There's an oval. Okay, I can do a few more out on the edge so you can see them. There's a few more. So practice your oval really quick. And we're practicing so that that way we don't mess up on our actual zebra. Right, the next thing we want to do is we want to draw some circles. So I'm going to do some little circles, some big circles. All right, so you should have circles. The next thing we need to draw is we need to practice drawing some triangles. So if we remember, our triangles have three sides. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. So I'm going to do some smaller ones too. All right. So, I think we're ready to start on our zebra. If you did a good job drawing all those shapes, you are ready to move on. If you still need to work, you can pause the video and practice. So, I need you to flip your paper over onto the blank side. So, here's my blank piece of paper. And I may actually draw a little bit bigger so that you can see what I'm doing better. Let's see if I can do that. That way, I've got a big zebra for you all to look at. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an oval in the middle, okay? Now, if we remember, our oval is like a stretched out circle. If you notice, it's pretty big. I didn't do one this size. That's way too little, okay? One thing you might want to look at is if you notice on my piece of paper, I can almost fit my hand there. Now, your hands are smaller, so you could probably fit both of your hands, okay? So if it's big enough, you could probably fit your hand in there, okay? Now, if you've got your oval drawn, your next step is we're going to do his head, all right? And what you're going to do is you're going to basically make a mountain, okay? Ta-da! I'm going to move this down. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. All right, and I'm going to fix this because it's a little bit wider than I want it. All right. Not perfect, but a little better. There we go. See, 
lately when I mess up. When I mess up a lot. That's why I draw lightly when I'm using pencil so I can fix it. All right, next up. You need to do his shoulders, and his shoulders are down here under his mouth, and they just go straight down. Okay? What's he missing on his head? What do we have to listen with? We have our ears. So our zebra ears are almost like triangles, okay? They're not quite as straight, but they're kind of similar. So you're going to go out. If you've ever seen a horse, they're kind of like horse ears, okay? I'll move this a little closer real quick so you can see them better. Ta-da! Now, like I said, I'm going to make mine a silly zebra. So you're going to be able to see some of his hair sticking up. I'm going to do a few pieces sticking up everywhere. Okay, because they're kind of like horses. They almost, I don't know if it's called a mane for them or not. All right, next he needs his, what's this? Eyes. So you're going to do two circles, and I'm going to make mine pretty big. Two circles. Now he needs the same thing for his nose. All right, you're going to do two circles, and I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. Now, for his mouth, we're going to be kind of silly. Do any of you all like bananas? I do, especially in smoothies. So if you've seen a banana, they curve, okay? So we're gonna do his mouth and it's gonna kind of curve like a banana. So I'm gonna show you, you're gonna curve just like a smile and then you're gonna go back and connect them so that you have your banana shape. And the reason that we're doing that is because we're gonna color in his nose or his, I guess, the area around his nose will be black, but we don't want to color in his nostrils or his mouth, okay? So I'm going to show you what that looks like really quick. So I'm not going to color in his nose or his mouth. I'm going to color around it. Now I'm just going to scribble because I don't want to take up too much time. All right, but I'm going around, around, and then I'm going to color in his whole area around his nose, this whole, whole oval will be black except for his mouth and his nose, okay? Then, after I do that, I'm going to color in his eyes. Now, you can color in his eyes all black or all blue if you want them to be colored, but I'm just going to do a little circle down here at the bottom. It will be black and the rest of it will be white. Now, again, like I said, my zebra is a silly zebra, so he's going to have eyebrows, okay, and probably eyelashes. I'm going to add some eyelashes on there, and I'm going to give him some eyebrows, all right? Now we have to go and add his stripes. If you want him to be like a normal zebra, he could be just black and white, okay? That's totally fine. If you want him to be a colorful zebra, you can add color. So all you're going to do is you're going to do a triangle shape, okay? The only thing is you don't need to cover in the bottom because the line of his shoulder already does that. All right? So I am drawing my triangle stripes. I'm even going to do some on his face. Just got to be careful and not mess up his eyes or his eyebrows. Now, just like our fingerprints are all different, Zebra stripes are all different. No two are the same. All right. And the last thing you're going to do after you color in all your stripes is you're going to give him some pink in his ears. Okay. Now, I don't think I have a pink, so I'm going to use red. I'm going to color in the inside. Okay. Dog. All right, I'm going to go over all my red lines so you can see what yours should look like. Okay. That way it looks a little more like it's supposed to. A red zebra would be funny looking, wouldn't it? So I've colored all this in. So you're going to color it in even better. You're not scribbling like Miss Pratt is. All right, almost got his nose done. Cover 
of his ears. Fix his funky hairdo. Fix this ear. And go over his shoulders again. All right, I forgot his eyes. And then I will bring the computer up here so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so you need to make sure all his stripes are colored in, whatever colors you want to. And then if you wanna add anything extra, you can. You can color in the background. You could give your zebra a bow or a bow tie or a necklace, okay? We are fine with having silly zebras, all right? So there's my zebra. And here is my colored one. Okay. So I would love to see pictures of what your zebras look like. So if you want to email me pictures or message me on Canvas, or you can show me during our Zoom. All right. I hope you had fun and learned something. Bye.